What is going on guys? Today's video is going to be about how to make a headline without all the stress. I know, it's crazy, right? Most of you came on here for targeting, but you're probably not remembering, or if you are, you probably went through this. Having a hard time coming with a, a title for your ad, something that's gonna get their, your dream customer's attention. And this is a part that I know that I struggled with personally. Um, because I wasn't really good at sales at first. I mean, I've been doing, you know, uh, marketing for like the last four or five years now. So, you know, over time I picked things up, but when it came to online marketing, it was a little different. So, um, I got better, you know, obviously I sucked at first, you suck at everything at first, but until you keep doing it, you do it, you end up sucking less. And next thing you know, you can be coming up with good headlines like I do, like, and like you eventually will. And like everybody that is going to be on Facebook soon will be too. So real quick, before I kind of like, dive into this section and give you guys some good stuff. I wanted to give you guys some value in essence to like why you're making these baits because when you're making this bait, you're pretty much, you're targeting a specific person. You're trying to solve a problem for a specific type of person. Solve a specific problem for a specific type of person. Now, what do I mean by that? It's like some of you, you post your ads and you make your ads and you're just trying to reach as many people as possible. Well, here's the thing. That's good because you will reach a lot of people, but if you look at it in an essence of conversions and actual real sales of the people you're trying to get, it's not good because now you're just, you're just reaching out to randoms. You need to reach out to the exact customer that you're trying to get. So you need to solve a specific problem for a specific person. So you've got to be specific when you make the ads, like in detail, like what is the company that you're trying to promote? What is their product? How could it help? Is what's the, what is it going to take out? What's it going to make better? Start thinking of that stuff. We'll go into it. So like, it needs to solve a big problem for your dream customer. And if you can really zero on this, I'm telling you, your conversion rates are going to be through the roof. And the type of person that you want to buy your stuff is really going to buy it. You know what I mean? So guys, that's that's the value part. One sec. It's actually a desire to. When you're making this ad, not only do you have to reach out and get a specific type of person and solve a specific type of problem, you need to make your ad desirable. So not only are you solving the problem, but you need to make it more of like a, a reason why they need to click. And there's three things that you could do to do that. You could do curiosity, scarcity, story. You know what I mean? You can you can kind of get creative with it, make it desirable. Through curiosity, you can create them to, to start wondering, hey, what does he mean by the public? That sounds interesting. Mm. Like it's up my alley, but it's like something I don't know the answer to, but I gotta get it. Like if you can create curiosity, you'll be good. Scarcity, make something like a, you're, you're taking something away. There's only limited spots left. Uh, limited time offer Ex expires in two weeks. You know, you, you create that scarcity, so it's like, hey, now's your chance. Get it before it's gone forever. Type of stuff. And then obviously a story. Do you guys know Russell Bunsen, the CEO of ClickFunnels? He is really good at telling stories, and if you are you know, marketers and affiliate marketers, like I think you are, because most of you are targeting like that, you always have to tell your story. You have to be, that's what people buy. They don't buy into the business, they buy into you. So if you have a story in how you can connect with people and how, show them where you came from, how you got to where you're at, and then you can bring them with you, and that it makes it more plausible in their head, and it's something that they're gonna wanna be a part of. So it's like you just, Kind of get creative, make your make your stuff really specific, solve a specific problem, make it desirable to your customers' needs, and the outcomes are gonna be made. So as you said that, let's dive into it, guys. And I'm gonna give you a few headlines that you can use as a basic. Um, I don't wanna say there's there's hundreds that you could use, but these ones are good for people that are just starting out, people that uh, may be experienced but just you know are a little confused. Uh, even if you're just completely lazy. I don't care, whatever you want to do. If you want to copy all these just for your ads, like go for it, just make them good. <laughs> Everybody's different. So let's dive into it. So first thing, first one that you guys should write down is how to dot, 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 get a desired outcome without the usual problem. Do you guys see anything weird about this one? Look at my title. How to make a headline without all the stress. So to get the desired outcome is to make a headline and the usual problem or without the usual problem is all the stress. So I'm here to help you guys make a headline with all the stress, right? Isn't that, it's pretty clever, huh? Now, people probably saw this when I first started talking. We're just like, I'm going to like this section, man. Oh, 
I'm not stressing over headlines ever again. I got to get this down. And I hope that does work for you because you're here and I'm here to give you value. So how to make a headline with all the stress. This is a good thing because it, it's a how to, you're showing people something, you're solving this problem by giving them a, a reason without the use of wrong. You're not giving them that stress and be like, oh, well, I can get that, but man, I gotta do this still. Like, if I, if I wanna get there, I have to give this up. Like, you can figure it out. So if you're in the health game, like, think of like, how to get, how to lose 50 pounds without giving up junk food. A usual problem. That's like the hardest thing for people when they're trying to lose weight is they're so used to eating all this unnatural food, all this, you know, high MSG food, when it comes to actually getting healthy, it's hard because their body's not used to it. So they literally have a hard time giving up junk food. But if you ease their way, maybe you can give them a more healthy path without having to actually give up all the things they have, maybe limit them. They're gonna, they're gonna click on it. They're gonna click on it. You're, you're giving them a solution to their number one concern. And there's ways you can make some match. It doesn't matter. There's so many ways you can do it. Um, another one, seven simple steps two. This one's a really simple one. <laughs> Get it, simple. It's a really simple one, why? Because it's, it's short, it's short to the point. You can, this is the headline. Remember, this isn't like the ad text, this is the headline that you guys most obviously elaborate on, like seven simple steps to convert, uh, increase Facebook ad conversions. Seven simple steps to get your dog to, to learn to go to the bathroom. Uh, simple, seven simple steps to, to lose fat in 30 days. Like So many things you can do. Like, and then what you do is you create the seven simple steps through a cheat sheet and you can do all this stuff and you give them the content. It's really, really cool. Next one, how to get a desired outcome in a short time without the usual problem. Now just take this first one and just add the short time. So like if I was doing like health again, I'm gonna keep reiterating the health because it's probably the easiest thing to talk about. How to get or lose, how to lose 30 pounds in 60 days without giving up junk food. How to gain 20 pounds of muscle in 30 days without giving up candy. <laughs> there's so many There's so many things you can do. Mix and match, get creative with it. I'm not even gonna lie, some of you are gonna try to be so strict with it and so professional that it's actually gonna steer people away. Like, people like real, they don't like salesmen. So if you're trying to get them to click on something, be more open about it. What's something that you joke about? What's something, throw a little humor in it because it's gonna make it more real. If you can get them to laugh, you can have their emotions dive into a headline they're more likely to click on it. But if they just see a boring headline, they're not gonna do anything. So get creative with it. Some of you, if you are businessy, I mean, obviously you can use different types of words. Just don't use like crazy, long, big words that, you know, they use in spelling bees. <laughs> don't do that. Just do simple stuff. Get them to just be like, okay, I understand. A third grade level, seriously. Like a third grade level. Start using small words but that have a big meaning. The next one. How I achieve a desired outcome in a short amount of time without the usual problem. So you, instead of going to how to get where you're giving people, you're saying how I achieve. So now it's more like a story. This one could be more of a story. How I achieve a desired outcome in a short amount of time. You can be like, um, I know somebody, uh, if, you're, if you're doing Facebook ads like me, you could be like how I achieve $10,000 in my first week without spending money on unnecessary uh, audiences. How to achieve $10,000 in, in your first 30 days without worrying about conversion rates. Like, there's so many ways you can do it. It's like, that's, this is like a whole stepping stone. If you guys copy all this stuff down, and if you want, start writing it out. Like, just copy this little text and start inputting what you have. Mix and match, you know, you don't have to do exactly how to without. You can mix up the words. Seven simple steps on how I achieve that. You can mix it, you know what I'm saying? And you can even Google it too. Google how to make a headline. There's so many things. Actually, if you guys don't know where to go, I'm gonna have a link below this video too. It's gonna, it, and this is for the people that, you know, if you really can't sit down and do this, um, and you just don't, or you just don't have the time and you you just want it done. You're, you're a businessman, you're just like, here, let's get it done, let's make this money. Click below, there's gonna be a link for um, script funnels, okay? Or funnel scripts, sorry, funnel scripts. And what it's gonna do, it's a software that if you input specific words that you are allowed, that you want, it will generate headlines for you, okay?
okay? It's a one-time price, click on below, they'll help you out, it's really cool. It's Russell Brunson explains in, in depth what it does. Um, and pretty much, I mean, I don't think you'd need it, but I mean, for those of you that really just can't like do this stuff or don't really want to because you'd rather do something else, then this is a cool way about doing it. Um, but it definitely comes up with some pretty good headlines. I've seen some really cool results with it. It gives you some ideas. Um, so you can definitely get that below, it's pretty cool. But guys, I hope you are starting to understand all this because the headline, even though it's a small part of the ad, it is one of the most important. Why? Because it's the first thing people see when they click on your ad. This is what's going to get them to click. So you really need to like narrow it down, get really specific of who you're trying to target and start getting to work. Start targeting it. Make them realize, hey, look, I'm serious. Or, hey, look, I got this stuff. I can help you. I can change it. They'll click on it. I promise you'll get clicks. You'll start, you'll start weeding them out. Just start being on the narrow audience through split testing, and then as you find that winner, man, just skyrocket that thing and just freaking start scaling up. I mean, obviously, I don't want you going from five bucks a day to like a hundred. Okay? You know, find your winner, find the ad that works, come up with different headlines, ask people, hey, would you click this? Hey, how do you feel about this? Like, just get a ping, see how it goes, and then just. But guys, that's all I got for you today about how to make a headline. Uh, again, if you guys want to get that funnel script down below, get it. Helps a lot. Um, 